I work for JetNet. My name is Sebastian Smith. I'm a project manager. And JetNet is all about linking together uh, industry and schools. Make youngsters more enthusiastic, enthusiastic about uh, STEM-related jobs, uh, technologies uh, used within companies, uh, and what it all has to do when they are being taught at school, for example, in chemistry or physics, and what's the relation between theory and what is out there in the real world. Um, my job is all about uh, linking together a school and a company. During my job, I, uh, during a week, I go to companies, I visit them, and tell them about uh, the, the need of schools to uh, develop better education for the youngsters when it comes to STEM. Uh, I also go to schools, of course, to tell them about uh, the need of uh, a good education when it comes to STEM. Of course, we want the best education for our children. Uh, we want the most realistic education for our children and very challenging education. So we try to make that realize by connecting a company. So people from a company go to schools, uh, talk to the students and the pupils about certain topics that they uh, get in their classrooms and, and tell them more about the, the role of technology innovation in society. JetNet has been here for quite a while now. Actually, in 2002, there were five multinationals, Shell, Oxanobel, Philips, Unilever and DSM. Uh, they, they, they talked about the, 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 the urgency of uh, getting more people attracted to, to, to STEM, to make sure the inflow in higher uh, technical uh, education uh, increases. Uh, and so they saw the problem that, that wasn't the case. So they said, well, we have to act. We have to do something. We're going to work. We're going to approach. We're going to work together with secondary schools. So uh, JetNet really uh, is an in initiative from industry that makes it unique. So JetNet has been working over 10 years um, and of course we know uh, things that go wrong, or what can go wrong and what things really help. And what are the key ingredients when you as a teacher want to set up a nice and good quality uh, collaboration with a company? Well the backbone of JetNet is the one-on-one -on -one collaboration between a school and a company. They are responsible for their collaboration uh, they organize their own activities. Of course, we have a lot of ideas and experience over the last 10 years of the sort of activities you can organize. We'll talk about that later. But really, a key ingredient is the one-on-one uh, -on -one collaboration. Uh, you link a school and a company to each other. So a contract between a company and a school is very important for the commitment, um, especially for, for professionals from industry to have time to develop activities with teachers uh, which fit in the curriculum of a school. Uh, especially in the beginning, that takes some time to develop those. Uh, of course, for a teacher it's important as well to have some time to go to the uh, company and to talk with professionals about what, they, what kind of te technologies they use there, they work with, and how you can translate that into your lessons. So preparation is an important aspect, especially in the beginning. Um, so we make sure a CEO of a company and a principal of a school sign a contract so they know what JetNet is, what it stands for and what, we're, what our ambitions and goals are. And they would like to uh, realize those goals. Um, the next one um, is focused on learning by doing. Uh, JetNet says, well, we develop a lot of activities. The key thing with technology and with science, technology, engineering and mathematics is about experiencing it yourself. Yeah? Working with technologies and learning what it does, what it means, what the role of it is in society. Not just talk about it in theory and learn about it, but really uh, apply it uh, in your classroom or in uh, the company. So the 80-20 rule, we call it, could be very cru crucial, crucial for you as a teacher to, to, to use, but we say, well, we, Students or pupils listen for 20% of their time and 80% of their time they are busy developing themselves what it's like and work, working with certain technologies. A very cru crucial thing uh, within JetNet activities. Another one which is very close to this one is the use of role models. <coughs> and role models 
of course, play uh, a role when it comes to uh, knowing what it's like to work in a company, to work as an engineer or as a scientist or whatever, and to know uh, and to translate that to, to the youngsters. What it's like to work in a company there. What do you do every day? Yeah, you sit behind your desk, uh, your computer all day, or uh, you work together in teams with your colleagues. Really talk about that, and of course, uh, questions like uh, what do you uh, earn as, a, as an engineer? Uh, uh, students ask those questions, and if the role model wants to answer them, of course, they are very welcome to. Uh, but it makes it more uh, 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 natural, and, 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 and uh, we say, well, role models are the ambassadors of their own profession. So this time I'm going to talk about what sort of activities you can organize uh, as a teacher with your colleague teachers uh, with a company. I'll give you some examples that we've been doing here in the Netherlands, uh, which hopefully uh, you find interesting to, to, to use as well, or to develop as well. The first one is, and we always use this as a start activity, is to, um, to go with your teachers, with your colleague teachers, with uh, four, five, maybe six, depending on the size of your school, uh, to go to, a, to the company, uh, to learn more about the company, to learn more about what technologies they use, what products they make. So really get into it. Um, and then, uh, after that, you start to, to, to think about you know, what's... What have, what, what have you seen today? How can we use that and translate that to our lessons? So uh, a good brainstorm session with professionals from the industry, together with the teachers, uh, with you as a teacher as well, of course, to, 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 to think about a first activity. How can we translate that for, based on what we see, we've seen today into a first activity, small activity maybe, to start with? That's the first one. And the second one, uh, is an expert meeting and I really like that uh, because uh, I'll tell you uh, expert meeting is all about pupils becoming an expert on a certain theme so what we do here in the Netherlands is that uh, a class is divided in, in groups of four or five and they go to a company and they interview an expert on solar energy wind energy or whatever depending on the, the company of course they interview them very thoroughly and then they, 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 they become an expert themselves and they present the things they've learned today to their uh, other students and the other student, students do that as well so you have a big session uh, so uh, students become an expert in a certain th topic as well that's a STEM expert meeting and the third one is focused on girls uh, in the Netherlands you see that when it comes to STEM, not so many girls choose a profile in STEM or a study in STEM. So what we have been doing here for years in the Netherlands is to uh, organize one day every year. We always do it on the fourth Thursday in April. Um, to organize a girls' day, which basically means that a company opens its doors for girls to visit. And uh, they, uh, they, they, they organize an activity for the girls. Uh, of course, uh, we've been doing that for a couple of years and thought, well, maybe it's good to get the parents, in this case the mothers, involved as well, to give them a nice view of what it's like to work in a technology company and make products like this. A very successful uh, activity in the Netherlands, and every year in April, over 300 companies open their doors for girls only, and it's a very nice way to... to, 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 to invite the press as well because it's a nice topic and um, the fourth one uh, is a, uh, a career day and a career day is maybe a little bit difficult to start with because um, it asks more from more companies and more schools so maybe if you're in a region and more and a couple of schools are involved in working together with a with, with, a, with a company and so, uh, like for example, in the city, you have five schools and five companies who you know are working together on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But you want to exchange some information, uh, some, some knowledge. So you organize a career day uh, where the companies have uh, stands, booths, um, where they give workshops and 
the 2080 rule is very important here as well. Uh, let the uh, students experience by themselves what it's like to work with certain technologies. So the students have the possibility to, to visit more booths or more companies to learn more about that. And with that, have a, a wider view of the possibilities and all the professions within STEM. And of course, the fifth one, and that's my favorite, is Meet the Boss. Meet the Boss is a debating competition between schools and a boss, a CEO of a company. Uh, we organize that every year here in the Netherlands. Uh, we have regional uh, qualification rounds and a national final. Uh, with Meet the Boss, uh, students uh, come up with theses about the role of uh, a company in society or the role of um, a certain technology in society. So it's always on the, on the edge of technology and society. Um, to make it debatable, uh, we, you, 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 you come up with some uh, theses um, and you give classes a certain role during the, the debate competition. So for example, your coalition, and in the second round you are uh, opposition, and in the third round you have the role of judge. Uh, so it doesn't really matter if you're in favor of or against a certain thesis, but you know what role you're going to play. So yeah, beforehand you can prepare yourself, find on the internet arguments you can use during the, 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 the debate, and hopefully uh, that will end up uh, the, as you as a winner, so you can go to the final. And of course, the most uh, yeah uh, nice thing, a very nice thing about Meet the Boss is that you are in direct con contact and uh, in debate with the CEO of a company. You can really test him, ask him why he as a CEO makes certain choices and why they m make certain uh, products which could maybe uh, harm the environment but are important for our welfare in our nation. And that's a, a nice ingredient uh, of Meet the Boss. Uh, we see more and more that parents are being involved within JetNet activities because we see the role and the importance of, of parents getting them involved into STEM because they are STEM role models themselves as well, for example, during science fairs. So my advice would really be to you to, to, to look at your students, to look at the parents, to ask them what kind of profession they do and if they are willing to contribute uh, during activities. So now we're going to talk a little bit about how to approach a company because it's not easy to, 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 to approach, to knock on the door of a company and say, hey, I want to work together with you. I need some uh, professionals from your side to go into my classroom and tell the pupils uh, what it's like to work in a, in a company like yours. Uh, my advice would be, uh, especially if you don't have an organization like JetNet in your country, um, to, to, to come up with a plan, and not a plan on your own, but with your colleagues and with your management, with your principal. Uh, look about several ways how to approach company industry. Uh, for example, you can uh, 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 use parents in this case. Parents work at companies as well. Uh, build on a network of parents and ask them if they can play a role when it comes to uh, organizing activities for your students. Uh, the second one is to, 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 together with your principal maybe or someone from your management, uh, approach, write a letter to a company where you say, well, we are a school, we are a very ambitious school, we would like to, 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 to do develop and, uh, uh, nice activities for our students which uh, are related to the world of work. Uh, and we as a teacher don't have all the answers to that and all the uh, examples to that, but you can help us as a company um, to, to make our education more uh, uh, challenging and realistic for our students. And the third one is uh, maybe to, to, to talk to uh, your uh, mayor or something or your council or whatever that you would like to, to, to get regional industry more involved in your school. That the use of role, mo role models uh, uh, becomes more uh, daily business, uh, just to, to, to get into contact, to get into a dialogue with industry, uh, to develop uh, something together. So we've talked about uh, JetNet, uh, the good ingredients of JetNet, uh, good practices within JetNet, 
uh, the role of parents and, and ambassadors of JetNet. And for you, we have uh, uploaded this brochure about 10 years of JetNet, the impact of JetNet. So you can read all about what I've just mentioned uh, to you. So my advice really would be to have a look at this. You can always uh, contact me if you have more questions. I'm very happy to, to, to help you with that. Uh, and my advice would be, well, uh, uh, take initiative, approach industry. Uh, don't, don't take no for an answer. And if you get no, okay, then try another one. Try several ways to uh, get, in, get industry involved, because I think it's very important for the future of your country, but also for Europe and therefore for our children. Thank you. <laughs>